from fights over Xboxes to full-blown shootouts. Stay tuned to number one to find out the most insane Black Friday stories. Number 10. No jumping in line here. There are plenty of things that could go wrong on Black Friday, but the biggest thing of all that most people know to expect is the thing we like to call line jumping. There are actually many different forms of line jumping, including holding a spot for someone, which is considered such a big flag that it was the plot line for a recent episode of the CBS series Bull. But there are also people who think it is okay to jump in line and they pay the price for it. In 2012, in San Antonio, Texas, there was a large line happening at a Sears. Sure enough, a man didn't want to wait in line and thus decided to try to cut ahead of his fellow shoppers. One person saw this and argued with the man who promptly punched the guy in the face. What he didn't know at the time was that the guy he punched had a concealed weapon, which he promptly pulled out, causing the guy to flee for his life. Now, before you condemn the man for using a gun, he actually had a permit for his concealed carry, and as noted, he clearly pulled it in self-defense. Oh, and one more thing. After the incident, it only took 10 minutes for shopping to continue. Black Friday, ladies and gentlemen. Number 9. Bike Wars There are many common stories that are told about Black Friday, and one of the more popular and recurring ones is that of two people fighting over an object that they both want. The reason this happens a lot is that when you have a massive amount of people, there's a good chance that they're after the same things. Because of this, items run out. For one Reddit user who used to be an employee of a Black Friday store, they recalled an incident that definitely topped the crazy charts. Back in my poor college days when I worked at Walmart, we had a fight break out over a bike. Fists were thrown and there was some blood. Eventually, one guy got a hold of it and managed to get it away from the crowd. He rode the bike out of the store to flee his pursuers without paying. So not only did this person start a fight, they actually committed a robbery in the process. Well, people never learn. Number 8. Xbox Marks the Spot Before we talk about the Xbox story, take a moment to like this video and join the Zero to Hero community by using the buttons below. Video games have become a big part of Black Friday, especially during the years where major consoles like the Nintendo Wii, the PS3, and the Xbox 360 came out, most of which were close to Black Friday. For one person, he did something in his life that he never thought he'd do because of a video game. He threw a punch. I'll let him explain what happened. So it was the year the 360 came out. I was standing in line to get an external hard drive next to the video games and there was this 11-ish year old kid with a woman in her 60s. He was waiting for his 360 bundle. Woman before him had gotten the last one, size all around. Then he says, nope, no more, and begins the motion of handing it to the kid, and this guy comes out of nowhere and pushed the older woman and the kid. The kid hit his face on the edge of a video game rack. You know, the one with the metal and plastic dividers? At 19 years old, I don't know what came over me, but I instantly swung for the dude's head and caught him right in the temple, sending him into a curric tower in the middle of the aisle. Everyone froze, including me. Guy dropped the 360 and got up and walked away. I slid it with my foot to the kid and he didn't say anything either. While violence is never the answer, in this case, I'd say it was justified. Oh, and the people in the line thanked him by letting him get the next hard drive. Number seven. Price check? Why do we do Black Friday? Well, for the deals, naturally. We look up online or in-store ads to see exactly what is available and for what price. Then when the time comes, we go to the store in hopes of getting the deal for a good price. But for some people, they like to get it for an even better price, even if that price was obtained illegally. How so? Well, this happened to a lady behind the register one day. A guy casually walked up to the register and had a TV in his hands one of good size, which would probably have a big price tag, even with it being on sale. Yet, as the cashier scanned the barcode, the price came up as $20. The cashier knew this wasn't right and confronted the guy about it. To his credit, he played it cool, insisting that it was indeed $20. Upon further inspection of the barcode though, she noticed that it was a fake and taped over the actual one. He was taken away by security and she got a free pie for her good service.
Number six, was it worth the wait? People are just hard to predict at times, you know? You wonder what their motivations are for doing certain things or why they go to extreme lengths to get other things. For one guy, he was working crowd control at a Target and was talking to people who were in line. He noticed that the first people in line were a couple and they had been in line for over 12 hours. When the store opened, they went in and they got what they wanted, towels. He saw them as they went to the cashier and the lady had a cart full of towels, ones that were on sale for $2 each. When the day ended, the security guard went back to the aisles where the towels were on sale and there were tons of them. So if they would have waited until then to get the sale, they still would have gotten it. Oh well. Number five, get away. As you've seen by now, people will go to extreme lengths in order to get what they want. For one woman at Walmart, this actually meant pepper spraying a large group of people as she tried to get a video game. Here's the kicker though, not only did she do all of this without having a hand laid on her, more or less, she was then able to get her item, pay for it, and leave. Yep, she committed a crime technically and got away, though to her credit, she did feel guilty about it and turned herself in later. Number 4. Praying for a better spot Selfishness is a driving factor in most of the things that happen on Black Friday. People think that they deserve a certain thing and when they don't get it, they lash out. What's worse, they'll use any excuse they can to try to gain an advantage over others who are just trying to get their items. One lady though got really biblical about it and the story, according to the clerk, goes something like this. At one point, there were maybe 200 people in line to check out when a woman with two full cards tried to cut to the very front. She told me that she was buying toys for kids in her church, so she should be expedited. I apologized and told her that it was not going to happen. Then, right there, in the middle of the store, she got down on her knees and started praying loudly that Jesus strike me down with righteous lightning for blocking the path of a Christian soldier. After 15 minutes of me not being struck down, she left the store. On the plus side, all the toys that she didn't get hopefully went to more worthy homes. Number three, gone. In the hustle and bustle that is Black Friday, you can be forgiven for not noticing everything that's going on around you. Bumping into people, nabbing the wrong item because you're trying to get out of people's way, that kind of thing. But in 2011 in West Virginia, things got taken to a whole new level when a man collapsed in a Target and no one checked on him. Now, if he was standing against a wall, sitting in a chair, or even in a bathroom stall, he would likely be okay with not noticing that something was wrong. Instead, this man collapsed in the middle of an aisle in the electronics section, which you know on Black Friday was filled with people. But no one seemed to notice. It was hours after he collapsed that he was treated by paramedics, and by that time, he had already passed away. Let this be a lesson to you all. If you think that someone's in trouble, reach out. Number two, shooting at Toys R Us. Violence is almost a guarantee on Black Friday. It's something that people expect, but what no one expected at a Toys R Us in Palm Desert, California was for a simple adventure to turn into a shootout. Ironically, this didn't happen because of an item or an object the two people wanted. Two women just started to have an argument and it grew so out of control that they started to throw punches at one another. They each had a boyfriend who were with them and they got into verbal arguments before getting physical themselves. This led to them pulling out guns and actually chasing each other down in the store. The end result was both of them passing away from their wounds. Number 1. Trampled You often hear stories about Black Friday and how the crowds get so massive that they cause stampedes and people can get seriously hurt because of it. Well, in 2008, this is exactly what happened at a Walmart to an employee named Jimmy Ty Damore. But in his case, it did not turn out well for him. Well, like most Black Friday stories, it starts with a massive crowd amassing outside of a Walmart. True to form, the crowd grew and grew with each passing hour. At this time, the Walmart wasn't a 24-hour store and it opened at 5 a.m. By that point in time, the police had to be called in order to keep the crowd calm and compact. But sadly, they failed to do that, for the size of the crowd was so large that when they pressed against the doors, the doors shattered. Instead of being regular human beings and helping each other out, they stampeded into the store to try to grab the deals. Jimmy Ty Damore was caught in the stampede and was trampled. 
and here's a report of the incident. Suddenly, witnesses and the police said the door shattered, and the shrieking mob surged through in a blind rush for holiday bargains. One worker, Jimmy Ty Damore, 34, was thrown back onto the black linoleum tiles and trampled in the stampede that streamed over and around him. Though he made it to the hospital, they weren't able to save him. The injuries were just too great. So please, let this be a lesson to everyone watching this. When you are out Black Friday shopping, it's okay to be excited for a deal or discount, but don't put a present above another human life. Tell us what you think about these Black Friday stories in the comments below and take care.